Yeah. And um, to people who don't know, how would you describe what a PA is? I would say a PA is an extension of the physician's role, and I know that this term has been used often, but in fact I do find that a PA is an extension of the entire healthcare team, um, if you can put it that way, because a physician sometimes gets bogged down with some of the uh, work that only they are capable of doing, whether it's being the primary surgeon or whether it's being a radiation oncologist who has to plan their patient's treatment, uh, radiation treatment plans. But a PA can sort of bridge that gap between the admin side of things, the nursing side of things, and the clinical aspect. So I really do like to think of it as an extension of the entire healthcare team. And is there any difference that patients can expect when seeing you or a physician or a fellow? Uh, in clinic, actually, there's not a lot of difference in whether they see myself, a fellow, a resident, or the staff physician, because um, in clinic, our practices are pretty similar. We're, for new patients, it's histories, physicals, uh, communicating about the diagnosis, uh, obtaining consent for treatment, going through side effect profile, sort of uh, talking to them about anticipated future, timeline of how the treatment will go. The biggest difference comes from what happens behind the scenes. So behind the scenes, the radiation oncologists, including the residents and fellows, are involved in creating individualized, personalized plan for each and every patient um, because we're all anatomically different, our body sizes are different, how we're structured is very different. So we can't just use one plan for every breast patient, let's say. Um, it has to be extremely uh, carefully designed so we're not giving toxicity to the nearby organs. I don't have any training in that aspect, so I'm not involved in the radiation planning aspect, which is where the radiation oncologists can dedicate more of their time if I can help them clinically. And I think there's this misconception that um, PAs can replace doctors. Can you speak to that? Because you did say you were able to help compensate for the workload. So I would definitely not say I'm replacing a radiation oncologist because, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that only the radongs can do, which I absolutely cannot help with. Um, but what I can do is help them in their clinical workload, which is seeing patients, so that these patients can actually be planned and teed up for their treatment and treatment can be delivered for them in a timely manner. So CCO Cancer Care Ontario mandates that we see our new consoles within two weeks of the referral being sent to us. And it's not like some of the other specialties where we can just hold on to these referrals and say, oh, we'll see you when we can get to you. Um, these are cancer patients and time is of essence, so we do have to get to them sooner rather than later. And if I can help see extra patients in clinics, it frees up that much time for the radiation oncologist to work behind the scenes, um, both for resident and fellow teaching as well as being able to plan the radiation treatment plans for the patients. So I would not say I am replacing them. In fact, I would say I'm probably just an extra help, uh, extra pair of hands that helps them cover the clinical load that we have. Excellent. And are you involved in resident teaching as well?